Hi you guys and welcome back to Mochi Design. We're going to start by going to create new and then we're going to keep it at full HD although there are other options available. 24 and 1920 as well and we're going to put in the layers here. We have background, person, and object and we're starting off with a tree, a drawing of a tree. We're going to put in the branches and the trunk and then we're also going to add different colored flowers as well and we're going to have the person uh, walk by shake a tree and then the flowers is going to fall down so that's what we're going to animate today we're also going to use some artificial intelligence to help the background a bit to fill it in and so we're using a lot of the pencil tool. The pencil tool helps with making things straight lines and we're also going to use a lot of the lasso tool as well to make the movement and really to speed up things and we see we are circling the area that we want to move and then moving it with the transformation tool as well and that helps with the movement then we're just going to use the timeline at the bottom there to kind of see how the movement is and as you can see here I'm circling things and then changing the movement and then I'm also using the loop tool to see how the movement is so that it loops a certain amount of frames over and over and you can kind of easier see what needs to be changed or what you need to make improvements on and so we're circling the head moving the head because the head was a little bit off of center as you can see and by looping it I'm able to see quickly wh what the problem is so that it's not going through the whole two seconds of the animation it's just going through less than a second about a half a second um, and so we're moving each little leg and also rotating as well to show the movement and so this is the way that it is going so far and we're going to copy things and paste them so that we can have the same movement throughout until the character gets to the tree so we're going to paste the frames and overwrite frames as well throughout I'm erasing the frames at the end as well because it actually added more when I pasted it so now I cleared the frame and then I'm copying the frames here and then going through each and every frame and pasting it on the end and overriding what's already there as well. There is an easier way as well, and I'm gonna show you that also. But this is we're pasting it, and we're also using the onion skin tool to see what's happening before and after. So we see on the timeline there's green and there's red. So green is what happened before this, uh, before the frame that you're on, and then red is what's happening in the future. And so we are pasting and overriding everything, making sure there isn't any movements where it jumps and it's, let's say, it's ahead of itself before the frame that you're on and then all of a sudden it goes back and then forth. So we don't want that, so we will fix that. And so now we are having the character shake the tree also so that um, we're also changing that transformation point. That's that white circle and by using that we can Change it so that you can easily make it look more natural. It's like adding a joint to the bone also and Just to inform you guys there is also a way to use another option um, And that way you can change everything at once really quickly and you can um, copy and then paste everything and then quickly move it to the correct area um, at the same time. So there is also that option as well. And so now we're shaking the tree back and forth. And we're also going to add the 
fruits or not the fruits but the flowers that are going to fall down you're going to quickly move them so first i'm drawing a rough outline of some fruits here and then i'm using the arrow key to move the different parts of it down and then remembering to move the timeline down so that it can record what the movement is and I like doing it this way because it makes it look a little bit more natural than to just pick it up and move it just to make it go straight down like gravity and so that's what I am doing here with this part Making everything go down and then as you can see, you can kind of see how it is. So this is how it's looking so far. But now we're going to add the artificial intelligence to it. I'm going to go into, this is creator.nightcafe.studio. I'm going to put pear, Bear Forest cartoon lines. And here's some of the older ones that I've done before. But um, so we're going to click this one, save it and then we're going to add another layer for the forest background we're going to go to import to stage library and then we're going to put it in the back but as you can see because the colors are so vibrant and the actual animation isn't as vibrant we need to put down the color effects alpha and make it transparent so this is how it's looking so please subscribe you guys